A Salt Lake woman who paints faces for a living has taken her talent to a whole new level. Tonight we take you inside the story of the cancer healing artist. Dan Rascone joins us live. What's this all about, Dan? Mark and Shauna, Liz Daly says she wanted to do more than just painting faces at fun events. She wanted to help change lives. And she found a way through painting much more than just the face. I am a full-time face painter and body painter. There is something about painting on people <laughs> that brings out <laughs> the laughter <laughs> in Liz Daly. Oh, that's so cute. For her, it's a challenge of the art. It's much harder to paint on a person. You're painting vertically and your canvas moves at inappropriate moments all the time and sneezes and coughs. There you go. But the payout is way better because as soon as the kids see their face in the mirror, it's the best part of the job. But there came a time in Liz's career where she wanted to do much more than birthdays and corporate events. Max Nathan Bramhall. And it has to do with little guys like six-year-old Max. Are you in kindergarten? Yeah. He's got lightning bolts coming out of his cheeks. And eight-year-old Davin. Both kids diagnosed with cancer at a very young age. Max with kidney cancer. It was pretty devastating. Davin with nerve cancer. He woke up and he was just screaming in pain, would not move his leg anytime you touched it. It's an experience no parent would ever want to endure. There's nothing more painful than watching your child hurting and being really sick. And you want to take it all away, but you can't. Do you have a favorite kind of doggy? Liz can't cure cancer, but she thought just maybe her face painting talent could help in the healing process. It mostly came from the need to want to do more. And that led to this book, Canvas of Cancer, the stories of kids and adults suffering from cancer, all decked out in body paint, artistically brushed on by Liz and other artists. The whole time, you're just completely in awe of these children because of all the things that they've had to go through, they're so young. All the dogs in the whole world. Almost. For Max, he loves dogs. I love it. <laughs> and that's why he wanted a doggy face. Just want to hug her and tell her thanks because this is just one of those things that brightens up little Max's life a little bit. It's awesome. Davin went for the Star Wars look for the book, which he never wanted to wash off. He begged and begged every single day, just one more day, just one more day. A birthday party <laughs> face painter who used her talent for the art of healing. This kind of stuff is definitely healing. It's a nice break from the cancer world. And by the way, uh, the cancer is in remission for Max and Davin. Liz says she got interested in painting when she was just 12 years old and entered a painting scarecrow contest at her elementary school. All proceeds from the book are donated to cancer organizations. For more information on that, you can go to our website, KUTV.com, click on features and inside the story.